Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville where we discuss many different subjects academically. We talk athletics, Kayacom, the Kentucky College of Optometry, and all things in and around the U-Pike campus. Special guest in studio today as we'll talk with uh, the campus coordinator of Scholar House of Central Appalachia. Cheryl Frazier joins us. Cheryl, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you for having so us. So good to have you here and you've brought a Scholar House resident yep. with you as well, <laughs> Meredith Eastwood. So good Hello. to have you. Thank you. We're going to talk Scholar House of Central Appalachia today and of course what a great addition to our community, providing opportunities for students in our community and Cheryl as campus coordinator we want to talk about that role but let's talk about your background a little bit let's sure. talk about your background where you come from and then your arrival at Scholar House okay sure um, I graduated from Moorhead State University with a bachelor's in social work and I'm currently pursuing my master's in social work from the University of Louisville Very good. I was working um, as a social worker here in Pike County and I worked there roughly around three years and saw the posting for the Scholar House position. Yeah. I love everything about social work, helping people, yeah. um, setting goals, seeing them reach their goals. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity for me. Very good. So I applied, interviewed, and accepted the position. Very good. We're going to talk Scholar House today. And Meredith Eastwood, you're a resident of Scholar House. Tell I us am. about your background. Tell us a little about yourself. Um, I'm originally from Sydney, Kentucky, close to Belfry. I graduated from Belfry in 2004. On Creek Nation. Yes. Um, I waited a little later in life to start school, um, but I have two kids, so I kind of started out early. I had my first when I was 18. So I waited a little bit later to start school, but I'm doing it now. So, <laughs> but that's, um, I graduated, like I said, in 2004. Right. Very good. Uh, Belfry girl and uh, looking yep. to uh, uh, further her education thanks to, partly thanks to Scholar House. Yes. Cheryl, let's talk about Scholar House. Let's talk about uh, when did it open? It's been open a few years now. It's been open almost three years. It Very opened good. the end of 2014. And for those that are tuned in that may not have much information about Scholar House, they've seen the building. Okay, it's a great looking mm -hmm. building, a uh, beautiful place, downtown Pikeville, right smack dab in the middle, walking dis dig distance to Big Sandy, U Pike, what have you, downtown stores and mm -hmm. uh, all the conveniences. They know that, or maybe they don't. They didn't know what the building was and what it did. Let's talk about the mission. What is Scholar, Scholar House all about? Our mission is to the end um, the cycle of poverty by providing single parents the resources they need to obtain a college degree. Sure. It's that simple. And uh, single parents, of course, uh, those that maybe for whatever reason have been hit with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm in the midst of trying to further my education. I need a little help here, Absolutely. and it certainly provides that. Uh, you've got a lot of residents. We're going to talk about that. We're going to talk numbers. Talk about some of the stories as well of Scholar House because uh, Meredith is here, and it's a, it's a success story Absolutely. whenever we have a single parent that is trying to further their education. Uh, Meredith, when you applied to become a resident at Scholar House, tell us what were your expectations? Um, I expected, well, of course, uh, a good community to live in, a good living, you know, place for me and my kids. Um, I expected um, everyone to be helpful, and they were like, they met all my expectations. Um, I haven't had any bad experiences. It's been nothing but good experiences. How long have you been there now? Um, January made a year. Yeah, so you've been there a little while. Yeah. You know what it's about. Yeah. And uh, it, it's a great community. Now, your, your, your kids live there too. Yes, they are 12 and 8. 12 and 8. Yes, and that's one good thing too is um, about it is they've made friends. You know, it's awesome because they get to meet new people and, and good for me too to meet new people. Right. And uh, Scholar House, uh, of course, it's a community, I would imagine. Yeah. Uh, sharing experiences, uh, sharing life stories, but uh, living life day mm -hmm. to day. And I was curious about the kids, 12 and 8. Yeah. I would imagine that they, they are a tight knit community. It is, and it's, of course there's kids in every apartment, sure. you know, and I love kids. Um, so, and it's good that they get, we get close enough to, uh, you know, comfortable to send our kids to play with others, you know, and 
it's good. It's a good community. Absolutely. And uh, of course, as a single parent, you're going to school. Yes. They're going to school. Yes. But mm -hmm. you've got the demands of being a student. What about childcare? Those situations I would imagine come up. They do, um, but I do have help, help with my family. I mean, my family, I have a good support system. Sure. So, so I have really good help with that. But the school house does have daycare. Um, just my kids are a little bit older and don't exactly right. need it at the time. But there is a daycare there for younger kids, which is amazing. Very good. Uh, Cheryl, of course, juggling classes as Meredith does and family, uh, it can be tough especially for single parents, uh, whether they have a great support group yeah. or not. How has this facility helped students be successful? Well, just like Meredith was talking about, our on-site childcare facility is a big, big help. Um, a lot of our participants don't have any support at all. They have no family. Right. So um, the daycare center lets them go to class, um, lets them do their homework. They can bring their ki kids there and know that they're being taken care of while they study for exams. Sure. Um, they can join support groups at school, uh, study groups at school. Um, we also have a computer lab on, on site where they can come and do their online classes or right. homework, have whatever have you may. Sure. Um, and then we have academic advising meetings. We have family support meetings. That just kind of helps me identify um, anything that they may need, right. whether it be help paying their electricity bill or if they need tutoring in school, if they're falling behind in any of the classes, we offer tutoring as well at Scholar wow. House. And uh, we have monthly workshops that has been, I think, and Meredith can yes. probably uh, testify to this yeah, too. Yeah, they're very good. I've enjoyed everyone that I've been to. What, we, kind, of, what kind of workshops? We offered. have financial workshops. We have financial aid help workshops. Yeah. We do nutritional workshops for the moms and the and the children. Sure. We have um, we're actually getting ready to have a CPR um, workshop. We do car maintenance, parenting classes, um, really any need that any participant has, I can turn into a workshop. Somehow. Things we take for granted. Absolutely. A and maybe the workshop should be open to the general public because there are many out there that may need car maintenance sure. workshops or uh, financial workshops, how-to workshop mm -hmm. type deals. Great program and it sounds like you're meeting needs that are there for the entire community uh, with tutoring, with computer labs and daycare. Uh, how do you get all this done? <laughs> it takes a lot of work. Um, it's pretty much just me there. Right. We have a property manager that takes care of like the housing issues and, and things like that. But it's, um, it, it actually flows pretty smoothly from, from day to day. It's and uh, the daycare, mm -hmm. who, uh, who handles the daycare duties? The YMCA. Uh, so you've got community mm -hmm. partners Absolutely. as well with the YMCA. That is on site. It is. So single parents, you, they don't have to take their kids mm -hmm. somewhere else while they're trying to get studies done. It's all right there uh, within the community, and that's a great benefit as well. We're talking Scholar House of Central Appalachia on this edition of Where the 99 Lead. Meredith Eastwood, a resident of Scholar House, and one of the success stories, one of the many success stories that come out of Scholar House, and then campus coordinator of Scholar House, Cheryl Frazier. And uh, Cheryl, let's talk about who Scholar House is open to. Uh, let's talk about, okay, we've already mentioned single parents mm -hmm. and Scholar House, obviously we're talking students, or maybe it wasn't so obvious. Let's talk about who it is open to. Sure. It's open to full-time college students. If they're not already enrolled in college, I can help them get enrolled in college. Okay. Um, they have to have custody of at least one child under the age of 18. They have to be 18 years of age, the, the participant, and um, just be ready to get their college degree and work towards it. But uh, they do need to be a college student. Yes. Now, if someone, perhaps they're young, uh, they're a single parent at 18, 19, 20 years old, very young, or mid-20s, or even uh, mm -hmm. a little, little older, but they've become a single parent and they've got those those children under 18, they have custody, maybe they haven't gone to college, maybe they're not a college student, but here we are, they want to become a college student, go back, further their education, improve their life. You're going to help them with that application. Now, does that mean they have to be a student at UPIC? 
No, absolutely not. We have Big Sandy students, um, UPIC students, and we have a couple students from American National University. Oh, didn't realize that, but uh, obviously uh, that's a great benefit for those students as well. Uh, it's open to anyone pursuing not just a four-year education, but two-year as well. Uh, what are some of the other uh, requirements? Any, um, anything else we haven't mentioned? Nope, nothing else. Sounds like a tremendous program and a great opportunity for single parents. Meredith, uh, share with us one of your favorite memories of your family's time at Scholar House. Tell us a, a fun story. Um, probably, honestly, just moving in and all the kids being excited, you know, of having, I guess, new new people to play with and stuff. And they were also, well, you know, just welcome, welcomed us. And um, Christmas, you know, like this past Christmas, we spent, it was our first Christmas there. Yeah. So that was really special, just, yeah. you know, yeah. I bet the place is crazy. Christmas time. I bet the oh, place is crazy. It is all the time. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> yes. We're like a little family yeah. there, like a little community. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. Sure. We have a lot of fun. Uh, because you've got so many kids running around, all different age groups, right. I'm, I'm guessing. Right. From babies, itty bitties, newborns, yes, to, mm -hmm. yeah, probably. Wow. I don't know. Keaton, maybe, I don't know how, if there's any older ones than Keaton. He's 12. I think that's, that's he's, he's probably, yeah, oldest. he's about the oldest one. Wow. Meredith, how has the support that you found at Scholar House, how has that helped you succeed in college? Prob if it wasn't for the Scholar House, I probably would ha wouldn't be in college, you know, honestly, to be honest. Um, they've helped me just um, realize, you know, what I need to do, um, realize how important education is. Sure. Um, but yeah, without the Scholar House, I probably wouldn't wouldn't even be in school. Obviously, it uh, provides a safe environment for yes. your, your kids, yeah. a place that you feel comfortable, secure, yeah. and they're taken care of right. while you need to study. Tutoring is offered, computer labs. Have you been able to utilize those services? I haven't, um, but I have been saying that I need to get my son into tutoring, and I am going to take advantage of that. Right. <laughs> of course, tutoring, uh, it's if a student is a great math student, yes. but struggles in English. Right. It's what I've found with students. There are those out there that are tremendous at English and terrible at math mm -hmm. and need a little help. That's where I've found that tutoring pays off. Yeah. And that's available for residents and for their mm -hmm. children as well. Absolutely, we have both. Wow, it, it's a tremendous service. And uh, Scholar House obviously uh, providing success stories for residents and their children alike. Scholar House of Central Appalachia. And uh, Cheryl, outside the classroom, residents and families, they participate in educational workshops. You mentioned that. And uh, let's talk about some of the information that's provided during those monthly sessions. Car maintenance, you mentioned financial workshops. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the other information. Um, we do nutritional workshops. We actually- Tell us about that partner with the UK Extension Office um, here in town. Debbie Skaggs, she's wonderful. She's actually doing a series for us. It's probably been going on the last four months. Um, she just talks about um, healthy eating, right. what what you can cook, prepare for your children so you're not, they're not eating McDonald's every day or they're not eating something that they shouldn't be eating every yeah, day. Um, yeah. And then she actually cooks the food that she talks about and brings it so the participants can try it. Right. And they, they really enjoy her. They really yeah. enjoy her. So it, it's like having a personal chef. It is. Uh, teaching <laughs> those great. classes because uh, I think we've all been guilty at one time or another of not eating the way mm -hmm. we should. Or, yeah. Uh, we may blame it on lack of information or what have you, but uh, those people, uh, they, they provide a great service. Car maintenance workshop. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you mentioned that earlier. Who teaches mm -hmm. the workshops? We're actually having someone from the, um, I think it's advanced, um, advanced motor, I can't even think of what it's called, but they are going to come and do a workshop um, how to change your own oil. Very good. So instead of going out here and, and actually paying a high price for somebody to do it, sure. they can do it themselves Very and good. save some money. Uh, and of course, we've mentioned already the YMCA mm -hmm. and uh, daycare uh, assistance. They operate mm -hmm. the daycare at Scholar House, uh, but you've got several community partners. We do. And let's talk about some of those relationships and 
how they directly benefit the students. Okay. Yeah, like the, uh, the YMCA is a huge one with the child care. Um, and we talked about the UK extension with the nutritional yeah. workshops. Big Sandy Community and Technical College is another huge one because that's where some of our students come from. UPIC as well, They um, whether it's providing tutoring actually at the college or um, academic advising meetings, helping them to create a schedule, um, really whatever the student needs, they're always there for. We've talked about how the community has really wrapped its arms around mm -hmm. Scholar House and made it a welcome part of the community. Uh, what are some other ideas for ways that someone could support, uh, could help out, offer assistance to Scholar House uh, families? We're always looking for volunteers. We love what type to of volunteers? We love to have people come in and speak at our workshops. They can um, volunteer for like events that we have or any fundraisers that we have. And another way that the community can support Scholar House is by sp like spread the word of mouth about Scholar House. Yeah. If anyone knows anybody that could benefit from our services that we, that we provide, definitely tell them about us. Sure. Uh, Meredith, uh, we've talked about uh, a little about your situation. You've been there a year. You've got a 12-year-old. You've got an 8-year-old. You're in classes. We haven't talked about what you're studying. That's true. Um, I'm actually going into counseling, um, social work. I haven't decided yet right. for sure, but um, along those lines, yes. Very good. And uh, your academic standing currently? Yes. And uh, your your uh, first uh, first year, second year? It's my first year. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And uh, looking toward uh, furthering your education. What, you want to go into social work, you think, that's possibly after graduation? That's what I'm leaning towards, yes. Very yeah. good. And of course, uh, Scholar House of Central Appalachia, that's our subject of this edition of Where the 99 Lead. And Meredith, when you talk to your children about education, now or down the road when they're a little older, uh, what will you tell your child about the importance of education? Well, I tell him now because I have a sixth grader, so he's, you know, at that age yeah. and not understanding how important it is. Um, but I do instill, try to instill in them that without an education, without a college education, you are not going to get very far. Sure. You know what I mean? Right. And he talks about wanting nice things when he gets older, and I yeah. was like, well, you got to get your good education, and sure. then you can have those things. Sure. But yeah, just try, I just try to instill in them and I wish that I would have listened when I was younger, you know, right. to people that told me how important yeah. it was. Sure. But maybe it's more important what you're doing now, now. than That's what you actually say to him. Yeah. Walk in the walk. Yeah. Important. Education is important. Look what I'm doing. Right. And look what I'm doing for your children's yeah. future as well. It's a great story and uh, I'm sure just one of many. Uh, at Scholar House. Cheryl, with uh, many nonprofit organizations, donations, uh, in kind donations are always welcome. Uh, what type of items? Obviously, cash donations mm -hmm. would be accepted, but mm -hmm. other items that someone would like to donate? Yeah, we're always looking for clothes. Um, women, men, and children because the facility is open to single moms and dads. We, ah. we, we do have one um, one dad living with us. Sure. Um, shoes, to toiletry items, baby items, um, diapers is a big one. Um, really anything that somebody would use on a daily basis, we could always use at Scholar House for sure. our participants. Very good. And uh, if, you had, if you knew someone that was considering applying for Scholar House, what advice do you give them, Meredith? do it that it would be the best decision that they've ever made because i know it's by far other than having my children the best decision that i've made right and uh, a scholar house of course uh, you offer assistance if they need to get in school you Absolutely. can help with that if someone's looking to apply for a scholar house mm -hmm. you're going to help them Absolutely. with that as well because i would imagine day one it's overwhelming okay how do i make this happen and that's why you're there Absolutely. Uh, Cheryl, uh, let's talk about the community now. We've talked about there are a lot of kids there, there are babies there, mm -hmm. there are 12-year-old there, mm -hmm. and, uh, and then lots of families. You've got a dad. Uh, how many families are participating in Scholar House currently? We currently have 39 families. Wow. We have 45 apartments, so we have about six open. Very good. So you've got some vacancies. We do. And uh, if there are single parents that 
are looking to apply to live at Scholar House, and they'd like more information, how do they do that? And they can get in contact with me. Um, I'm on Facebook. We also have a Facebook Scholar House page, and all of my contact information is on that as well. But the number to the office is 509-1147. Very good. Scholar House of Central Appalachia, and uh, what a great organization providing a community for single parents as they continue their education. Now, I've got to ask the question because Meredith graduates, she gets her college education a couple of three years down the road. Do you just kick her out when she Absolutely gets her not. degree? <laughs> no, they actually have six months after they graduate right. to find a job, to find stable housing. I thought I knew the answer. I thought I knew the answer yeah. to that. Uh, but providing that assistance through graduation, all the way through edu graduation, Absolutely. and then for a time after that as they get settled as mm -hmm. well. Tremendous program. And uh, Cheryl Frazier, campus coordinator at Scholar House, thanks so much for being with us. Thank thanks you for all for you do. Us Meredith Eastwood, we want to wish you luck in your future, in your educational you career. Much. And uh, tell the kids we said hey. I will. And uh, we appreciate you being a part of the show today as well. Thank you very well. much for having me. You've been tuned to Where the 99 Lead. It's a program brought to you by the University of Pikeville, the leading university of Central Appalachia.